Thanks for joining us, Dr. Budoff. With all the new research done on inflammation, its effects on heart health, what are your thoughts on how to stop this inflammation in the body? Yeah, you know, inflammation we know is now tightly tied to coronary artery disease and strokes and heart attacks. So I think anything that we have that's validated to help us reduce that is going to be important. And some of that is dietary, but a lot of it's going to be supplements that can help us reduce inflammation. And what's your favorite antioxidant for heart health? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a big advocate, if we don't eat a lot of fish, of, of using fish oils. Obviously, uh, aged garlic extract uh, uh, has a lot of benefits along with antioxidants and, and, and anti-inflammatory markers. And coenzyme Q10 I use quite frequently in my practice, especially for those patients on statin therapy. Mm. And talking about fish oil, how do you feel about the new recommendations for saturated fat and in actually including good quality saturated fat in your diet to, to help heart health as well? Yeah, I think that's been a long time in coming. I think we've known about good fats and bad fats, mm -hmm. but that not even a, in the United States, it's not even a legal term. You're not, not supposed to say good fats. But right. I think now we understand that there are some essential fatty acids and obviously the, the omega-3s mm -hmm. that are especially good for us, even though they are, quote, fats. Right. Great. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me.